Welcome to the Rich TV Live podcast. I'm your host, Richard D'Souza, and I'm here with the head of strategy and operations for Neo Battery Materials, Danny Ha. Huh? How are you doing today, Danny? Very good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Great to have you back on the show. Now, my first question is, could you give us a brief introduction to Neo Battery Materials for those who are new to the company? And can you highlight the business developments that Neo is focused on within the EV battery industry? Absolutely. So before diving into our company, I would like to give the viewers a brief overview of the battery supply chain. So when we start from the mining and the mineral processing, and that gets passed on to the battery materials processing. And from the battery materials processing, that's given to the battery cell manufacturers. So uh, the battery metals like lithium, cobalt, nickel, manganese, or graphite cannot be uh, put directly into the battery cells, but they actually have to be processed into what is known as battery materials like cathodes, anode separator, as well as electrolytes. And then those materials can be directly put into the battery cells. And for Neo battery materials, we're currently operating within the battery materials processing supply chain. So we are developing an advanced technology called silicon anode materials, in which by using our materials, we can increase the EV driving range by more than 20%, enable ultra fast charging and cut down EV battery costs all at the same time. And as I mentioned today, there are four major battery materials that exist. This is the cathode anode separator, as well as that electrolyte. Now today, all of the lithium ion batteries in your electric vehicle, phones, computers, or whatever batteries use graphite as the anode material. And here, graphite is the only available option. So it leads to problems such as slow charging times and a limited run time. Uh, so right now within the industry, the industry is trying to improve the anode material. And right now there is a catch-all solution that can make up all of the deficiencies for graphite and this is silicon because by using silicon we can enable ultra fast charging store 10 times more capacity compared to graphite given the same weight and we can also reduce the overall battery costs if processed with low cost manufacturing technologies now right now in the market silicon is the only material that can increase the ev driving range and enable ultra fast charging and as a result from 2022 to 2032, over this 10-year time frame, the global market faces the highest growth among all battery materials, growing at about a 54% compound annual growth rate, which is quite unheard of for any kind of materials uh, in any kind of industry so far. And this global market will reach about 30 billion USD by 2032. And for our side at Neo Battery Materials, over the past three years, with management and an engineering team from the largest battery manufacturers and EV OEMs, such as LG, Samsung, as well as GM now, we have developed an energy efficient, low cost manufacturing technology. And when we couple this with using one of the lowest cost raw materials in the industry, we are confident to say that we will be one of the most cost effective global producers of silicon and materials, supplying products that are 70 to 80% cheaper compared to what our current competitors can supply in the field so far. Now, currently we have established over about 60 relationships with global battery cell manufacturers, EV automakers, as well as high profile battery, battery material companies. And we're ongoing about 20 plus active material evaluation for collaborative as well as strategic partnerships and to have milestone agreements such as joint development as well as offtake agreements. Now we have a clear roadmap to commercialization and we are expediting this process through increasing our customer pipeline as well as accelerating the timeline for optimization. Congratulations on all of your milestones. You've had a phenomenal year so far. And Neo Battery Materials is nearing completion to become a technology issuer. Given the current trading halt, could you provide us with the latest information regarding the progress of the change of business process and financing? We would also appreciate any updates on your business developments as Neo is actively undergoing evaluation with major EV battery players. 
Uh, now, I know this is a elephant in the room. Uh, I think it's the best way to put it like that. But for this training halt, I want to make it clear that in Neo Biden Materials and management did not initiate this training halt, but the training halt was enacted unilaterally by the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange as we are at the end phases of the change of business process. So on our September 26th news release, we have clearly outlined that the temporary trading halt is a normal course of action for a change of business process. And I will touch on the business and operation developments very shortly, but the fundamentals of the company have never been better as we have built an A-class team with our products performing the best since inception. And I would also like to give viewers as well as shareholders the full assurance that the company is not facing any kind of risk of going sideways or down. Now, the final deliverables to be completed is the minimum financing requirement in connection with this change of business, as well as two minor administrative items for the trading to be resumed. Now, first of all, as stated on page 61 of the technical guide of listing from the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange, the change of business requires a mandatory minimum 2 million arms length financing just in terms of the initial listing requirements. And in this particular case, we've been getting questions and why we haven't used non-diluted funding uh, for this financing. Well, for this particular change of business transaction, non-dilutive funding has no place in the financing requirement as this is not free working capital, free cash given to the company without constraints uh, by the government. And non-dilutive funding is awarded in connection with certain projects or milestones through a months long process. So right now we are actively pursuing the equity financing and this will give us the, the next leg up to support increased personnel to expand the manufacturing and testing capacity, which will help accelerate the commercialization timeline through establishing advanced agreements with global battery cell manufacturers, EV automakers, as well as those high profile chemical material companies. And just in terms on the status of the financing, we are on track to close this transaction with no variability in the next two to three weeks. And at this stage, we are being highly selective of the private placement participants to attract sticky shareholders that are actually investing in the fundamentals of the company. And we're trying to filter out predatory investors or bad money that will not act as a value add to our capital structure. Now, focusing the conversation now to the business side, we have only made good progress in terms of building our R&D engineering team, as well as optimizing our products without any kind of negative change. And this year, as we have announced, we achieved a significant techno technological breakthrough of 70 plus percent plus silicon and cycle life enhancement through the uniform nanocoding capability. And given this new milestone performance, new as well as exist existing global EV supply chain companies have increased their demand for our products in which our current R&D center is operating at the maximum capacity. And we have accumulated considerable backlog from these orders as well. And now to address this capacity challenge, we are not only expanding our team by hiring additional engineers, as we said, but we are also relocating to a larger facility equipped with expanded resources to boost our manufacturing as well as test testing capabilities. And now as a final note on the trading halt, I have been engaged in discussions with our shareholders very actively. And they have expressed concerns related to the activities or the conversations on stock chat boards as well as forums. And I want to make it clear here that there are several users propagating fear through misinformation. And there was a significant number of unsubstantiated claims falsely suggesting and accusing that the company is facing difficulties, often inaccurately linking the trading halts to a negative signal or light. But we want to give assurance here that this is not the case at all. And as explained, we are in industriously working to enhance our shareholders value through building the fundamentals of the company and these claims that the company are going is going sideways are entirely baseless as we continue to work with global players in the EV battery supply chain in a tight relationship even as we speak today so i highly suggest shareholders to reach me at my purse at my work email dhuh at neo battery materials.com to personally chat with me Thank you for explaining that, Danny. And I think that clears up a lot of things for a lot of investors. And I know we'll be watching very, very closely to see the halt get removed and get the stock trading again. 
Now, Neo has recently welcomed Dr. J.H. Wu as the new chief science officer. Could you please give us additional insights into Dr. Wu's background and explain the anticipated impact of his appointment? Yes, so we have newly appointed Dr. J. Chu as our new chief science officer and our preceding CSO, Dr. Bassett of Swain, is still with the company, but he's focused on special projects in which recycling is his specialty, as well as green manufacturing practices. Now, Dr. Wu brings extensive experience in the EV battery industry, having served as a scientific battery research engineer at General Motors Global R&D Center for nearly three years. Now, this was at Warren, Ohio, where the current Altium Cells Giga Factory is. Now that is a joint venture between LG Energy Solution as well as GM. Now more information on Dr. Wu. He is a graduate of the University of Colorado Boulder with a doctoral degree in mechanical engineering. And he specializes in battery materials development with a particular focus on synthesizing silicon anodes for high energy batteries used in long range EVs. Now his research also includes significant work on solid state batteries as well. Now, Dr. Wu's remarkable intellect and impactful research have led to a major battery materials company listed on the NASDAQ licensing his patent related to solid state batteries, resulting in royalties since 2018. Now, Dr. Wu is a rare find in today's field, especially in these kind of markets. And with his extensive track record in the automat automotive battery industry, we have great expectations and confidence that Dr. Wu will significantly contribute to the advancement of our technology. And furthermore, his hands-on experience in researching our polymer coating technology for silicon anodes further is fueling his motivation. And I will also like to clarify that for the past three years, all the technological breakthroughs have occurred through our internal R&D team, and the additional patents filed are also under solely NEO's name. Uh, we are not and have not been reliant on any third-party sources to achieve the current level of silicon anode performance, and senior management has been able to develop and nurture an R&D engineering team that is highly effective and synergist synergistic to get where we are today. So this is why we are increasing our personal capacity as great minds make great results. And this is also why we are very excited to have Dr. Wu on the team. Congratulations for adding Dr. Wu, another quality asset to the team. Now, NBM Korea, NEO's private subsidiary, has achieved certification as a venture enterprise in the innovative growth category. Can you share with the audience the significance of this milestone for the company and how it will influence your future business expansion in South Korea? Yes, of course. So our private subsidiary, MBM Korea, has been governmentally certified as an innovative growth venture enterprise under the South Korean federal government's Ministry of SMEs and Startups. Now, the reason why we have undertaken this process is because this is an official governmental authentication process that certifies high quality South Korean venture companies like MBM Korea based on technological innovation as well as business growth potential. Now, this certification is almost a government backing statement to companies in Korea, and this entitles us to benefits such as tax reductions, financial support, technical support, as well as increased patent protection. And most importantly, through this certification, South Korean institutional investors are now able to participate in financings due to the validation. Now, I would like to emphasize here that this isn't just some random application process that we get immediate approval, but the acceptance rate is very low for this certification, and we have been accepted into the most stringent classification of innovation growth out of four categories. Now, for several months, experts and officials have conducted months-long due diligence with various evaluation criteria such as technology impact, business model, market competitiveness, managerial experience, as well as site visits. Now, this certification will act with significance as we increase our business footprint within South Korea, and we disseminate our story among institutional investors to get robust long-term financial backing from the country as well. So all in all, this is a very positive development for the developments that we're currently having with testing with R&D partners within South Korea, as well as building out towards commercialization. Very excited to watch everything unfold here for Neo Batter Materials. 
I'm here with the head of strategy and operations, Danny Huh. Danny, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence and do your research whenever you're looking at investing in some of our feature interviews and feature companies. I want to bring your attention to the symbols. The symbol in Canada for new battery materials is NBM. The symbol in America is NBMFF. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. I'm your host, Rich, from Rich TV Live and the Rich TV Live podcast saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon.